everyone and welcome back to Airship Dreams with me, Sita. Today, we're getting creative. We're going to make our very own model airship. And I'm super lucky to have the help of a co-presenter today. She's called Bethany and she's six years old. She's somewhat of an expert on airships. She's made her own documentary and she's made a brilliant model with the help of her family. She's going to take us through step by step what we need to do. So come on, let's get creating. Bethany, over to you. Hello, my name is Bethany and I am going to show you how you make your very own airship. Like this one, I absolutely drew on and I did it all by myself and this one that I made with a little help from my daddy. Hello. So what do we need Bethany? You need uh, some little scissors in case you have a child, masking tape to stick things together. You'll also need a big straight bottle like this and two pointy bottles like these two and you'll also need this box which is a toothpaste box you'll also need some more cardboard like this you'll need some newspaper and you'll need some ice lolly sticks and last of all you'll definitely need some bottle tops Excellent, that all looks really good. But at home, don't worry if you don't have all of these items. The most important thing is to have the bottle and you can use anything else lying around your house to decorate it. As you can see, I've stuck the newspaper down on the table all the way around. Now I'm going to rip it off the table and stick it onto our flat bottle. First you turn it over and you get to your flat bottle and you gently stick it onto our flat bottle and roll it. Make sure it's nice and tight, otherwise it won't work. And there we go, that's the first bit of our bottle. Looking good Bethany, we well done. all the tape down like this and that's the first bit of our airship next after after we need to cut the tops of these two bottles ah so the top of the bottle becomes the front or the nose of the airship we need some sticky tape like and then you you half on half off again Bit. To make it, to make it stick all the way on, and then we'll have the front, and then we'll do the same with the back. If you hold it there, shall I do it, Bethany? Well done, Bethany's dad. Thank you for helping. And there we go. First, we'll need a box like this. Ah, now for the toothpaste box. I've been wondering how you're going to use that. And then I'm going to ask my daddy to get some masking tape. Yeah. I need both hands. And then we stick it down. Inside out. Inside out. And then these boxes here, they need masking tape too. So we put, so some, we tape put some tape over that. And then that bit's covered. Then we have to do it again, like this, and then stick the tape over it. So now it will, it is not good. And now it's good. But if there's a hole, you stick the airship, you stick it onto the airship bit. And we put our tape half. And we put our tape half on, half off again and then stick it down and we do the same with the other side it's like a submarine and it looks like a submarine but we're not doing a submarine today we're doing an airship that's called the gondola where the crew and the passengers would go now it is looking properly like an airship brilliant bethany what's next now we're going 
going to start to make the engines. We need to get a, these two engines and there are four and we'll use this lollipop stick to stick it there and it will be put on our airship. So first we need some tape that Daddy's cut out for me and then I I get the stick and then we get the masking tape and put it over the stick and gently stick it down on our bottle top to make some of the engine. And there is part of our engine. Now we just need to stick it onto our airship. We get this piece of tape, get the airship, flip it round, and as soon as you stick it down, it's on the airship. I have to say, you're doing this very quickly. It's looking so good already. Next, we're going to make the wings at the back of the airship. Daddy has cut out these pieces of cardboard that you can fold in the middle. And, and we find the uh, edge and then we... Oops. Everyone at home, yeah, you can right. ask your grown-up to help you with this bit. The bit there. And then you can see that it's changed. Yeah, that's brilliant. And now we just put a bit of tape, don't we, on those sharpie bits. We put the piece of tape on those sharpie bits. Do you want to get the airship, Bethany? You get the airship. And we get the airship. And Daddy is going to stick on it at the back. Oh, what am I going to do this bit? Well done, Bethany's dad. Very so good. One at Two. the top. And one at the top. And then we put uh, one, one there, there, one there, one there. One one there. there. Should we do that? And we've just put some more masking tape on the plastic as well, so that it's easy to paint. Go on, Bethany. Mix those. Colours. Mix that black and that white together, and you should make a nice grey. Oh, that's a lovely grey. Up. Start painting. Oh, I'm so excited for the paint. Oh, look at that. Now I'm doing lines on my airship with a sharpie. At home, you can do any design you like on your airship. I've finished putting on the windows and now it's the end. All I need to do now is give my airship a name. And I'm going to name it the R40. Great choice of name, Bethany. What will all of you call your airships? Right. Shall we show everybody? And there we go, our finished airship. Wow! Well done, it looks so good. Now you just need to fly it. Bethany, that was absolutely brilliant. I'm so excited to go and make my own airship now. And everyone, I hope you are too. I would love to see your creations. Send your pictures in to hello at airshipdreams.com and you can tag us using the hashtag airshipdreams. For more information, just head on over to our website. That's airshipdreams.com. Keep airship dreaming, everyone, and I'll see you again very soon. Bye-bye.